The Select Committee on Sexual Harassment and Violence has paid a visit to St. Lawrence Secondary School's Horizon Campus in Maya as part of their ongoing investigation into cases of sexual harassment in institutions of learning across the country. The committee, led by Gomba West Woman MP Robin Arakojo, has noted that the numerous claims of sexual harassment in the St. Lawrence schools that came to the fore last year forced them to pay the school a visit. Students going to the extent of even giving birth and uh, past students, past teachers have come up to testify and, and mention uh, certain incidences that used to happen to them here. In their interaction with members of staff and school administrators, it emerged that the St. Lawrence schools did not have any policy on handling matters of sexual harassment. Should I assume that since you do not have a policy, it means you do not have actually a mechanism of reporting cases. However, members of staff led by the St. Lawrence schools, Rector Maria Tulina, who is also the daughter of the late founder of the schools, Professor Lawrence Muchibi, noted that the school has other measures that it instituted to protect the students. And the kid is, is free to report to anybody. Because if anything happens, they can call, they have both, they can call their parents straight away, that very minute, and the parent will come up. She also categorically denied the allegations that were leveled against the school founder, adding that the committee's inquiries would absolve him of these allegations. The allegations are not correct. Yeah, so... We did maybe a mistake of not answering back, and, but it was too much. I think the best thing was for us to keep quiet. The truth always comes out at the end of that day. The legislators later on met separately with the students so as to get their opinions on the matters under investigation. The committee chairperson, Robin Arakojo, has noted that they are not satisfied with the answers that they have received from the teachers and students and will therefore meet with them again. Well, they are being evasive, they are not saying much. So those things happen. There is still another chance. We shall get uh, information from them after that. On the findings that they have so far made, Rakojo has revealed that parents neglecting their children has strongly led to increased cases of sexual harassment against students. Children are ignorant. Parents have left their duty of uh, educating their children against uh, sexual violence to teachers, to servants, to, to whom it may concern. Teachers in schools have also been named as the major perpetrators of sexual violence. In one school it was the deputy headmaster defiling the children. In one school it was the dean of the university. However, Wakiso District Education Officer Fred Chinji has also noted that the unregulated system of bursaries and scholarships in private education institutions has also contributed to the sexual exploitation of students. Because they are given in to be supported and be given school fees and be kept at school and some other attachments which they are given. The committee is still carrying out its investigations and upon completion it will submit its findings to parliament for debate.